Hey guys and welcome back to the channel and uh, welcome to another mod review. Today we have a fresh off the press uh, so to speak mod. This has come on within the I think within the last few hours. Um, it was definitely released today the 10th of the 7th 2016. So yes I'm on a different map. This will come apparent hopefully later but I'm not quite sure. It depends on how it works. So Behind here is what I would call the green machine. It's another John Deere. So if we open up the doors, I can show you. Here we go. So yes, we have another John Deere. For some reason, they come out thick and fast, but they are coming out rather well, better than they used to. As you can see, the tires are a bit on the uh, manky side because I've been using it. This is the John Deere 7270R. That's 7270R. Um, I've been driving it around just to give it a bit of a a test. Yes, it is. It's nice. It's not the best. Um, mirrors are a bit messed up. I see is good on it, um, but we'll come through them as we go along. So, if we hop in, it's got its usual I see. Um, so if you hit right control, here we go. So. You can move, open the doors. If we just move down a bit, um, and you can also there's other little ICs like move the steering wheel up and in. If you just see here where the cursor is, you see a little flashing green. That brings your steering wheel up. And you same. You can still raise and lower. Uh, lights like the previous one on the dash. I don't understand why it changes the display. You can't change the display on this only if you hit the light which I think is kind of odd thing to do but you know that's how the mod has done it. Um, that red button there is to activate lower back. I don't know. Um, turn your screen on and off. It's just basically all it does. You've got the toggle for the PTO and your beacons are there. Uh, what else have we got? Rear windows also opens like so. Nice quick animation, quick, simple, over and done with. So, next. That is it. <laughs> that is pretty much it on the inside. Um, so if we pop outside, if I can get the mouse to work. There we go. So on the back, if you press your IC again, you see you've got two, these two here. Press that and that will lower and raise the arms. That there is to activate, I believe, for your PTO shafts. Um, if we hop, in fact, if we start her up. Always helps you press the right key, guys. I really like the sounds on this. They're more realistic. Um, so you can also add your weights if you press 7 your weights and your wheels pop up um, if we just jump out a moment while it's running here you'll see there's more so if you press B you can open the bonnet nice gas strut noise and there we go you can see the the fan working away I don't know if we can see it better from here there we go you see all the pulleys and the fan working Close that down. You can also lower. Oh, wrong button. Sorry, guys. If you press N, it'll also lower your arm so you can use your front. Boom. So if we hop back up in, and shut the door again. Oh, and there you can close. You can obviously. I didn't realise that, but you can also shut close the seat down, we'll close it down because there's nobody with us. So let's take it for a spin. There are two sort of sounds with this. You can see they've got the dust for the tyres. 
let you listen to it once we get on the open road. Your indicators work, your left and right. Hazards, same they show up and display inside on that panel there with the piers. So let's give this one a high speed run. And there's your very laggy when you're at high speed. I don't know if it's this or the map I'm on. I haven't had problems with this map before. Um, for some reason she sort of lags when she's at speed. Uh, I believe it might be the mod that's playing up. But that's why I'm not giving it a full 10 out of 10. I like the way the tyres rumble when you're running along. Otherwise, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. A top speed of 31 again. We'll go into the garage and we'll go through the little bits there and then that'll be us for today, guys. There's the mirror. It works there and then it's out works there and then it's out so they're glitched as well so let's pop to the garage you go into your mods it's on the tractors again as usual and it's this one here the 7270R it's 230,000 to buy at 305 per day a total kilowatts of 224 and uh, HP of 305 so no, it's not the cheapest. We've got that lady's weight. She's just going to try and walk through us. It's not the cheapest, but it's a good machine. So, that has been... Put all the lights on so you can see all the lights working. There we go. It'll work. That's been the John Deere 7270R mod review. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. If so, hit that like button. Don't forget to comment. Um, so I know if you want more John Deere's. But until next time, guys. Thank you ever so much for watching. And ciao for now.